Hi everybody, welcome to TWR Facebook Live. Uh, very happy to be here this afternoon. Um, this is a little uh, surprise Facebook Live, even though we have able to make a little bit announcement yesterday. So hope some of you able to make a schedule, a time to be with me here. So welcome everybody. Um, so today's topic is to overcome loneliness uh, by embracing loneliness. Uh, that's really like a main uh, discussion. Um, but the main title is the really like a, a finding a home within. So, so first of all, I think according to Dzogchen teaching, uh, according to the principle of Dzogchen, uh, there is a line in the burn, burn, one of the Bion Dzogchen texts, it says, uh, So it's like a, the one who understands it, it's like a discovering a treasure of kingdom and uh, one will find everything one needs within it. So basically some sense that uh, if, uh, if one understand one's own true essence, then it's like discovering a, a treasure of kingdom that one finds everything within. So, so there's basically a sense of home is within ourself it's already there, already been there, already will be there. So, so the way we experience some sense of uh, loss of connection, uh, uh, the sense of disconnectedness, a uh, sense of uh, homeless, sense of not be belong belonging uh, somewhere. So this is, I think it's very important that it's not exactly like that. So it's, it's really very important to able to look at within and find that sense of home within. So, so that's, that is the main theme that we are trying to talk. So I wanted to kind of gradually go with this, some, some sense of experiences of it and um, see how far we can go. So let's discuss a little bit about a sense of loneliness. How do you feel the loneliness? So basically I'm asking a question to all of you. How many of you feel loneliness in general in life? How many of you feel loneliness these days? How many of you, you feel loneliness today or even this very moment? And how does this experience of loneliness of you feel? Uh, some sense of that loneliness is basically, um, for example, I was just noticing today in the crowd of people, as I can always not help myself observing around me, and um, noticing somebody, a person, who is, at least from my point of view, uh, seems like a feeling lonely and tr wanting to connect and looking around and uh, then th that means some sense of uh, there is no uh, this person is not feeling connected to himself uh, that means not connected to the base that means not connected to his own breath that means not connected to his own field of energy, uh, but looking for connection elsewhere, so it's looking around, so there's some sense of base is not connected there. So we recognize by noticing that feeling disconnected, a longing for connection, looking for connection, and not finding a connection, and kind of losing, it's like an internet, uh, trying to search a signal, Wi-Fi signal, and, um, and, and particularly not having the password. You don't have the password to, to be connected, but you are seeking for connection, 
but as you are seeking for connection, you are draining your battery, you are losing your energy. So you clearly feel that this person was doing that. So we all do that. It's not a question about that I don't do that. We all do that. But the question is that when we do that, do we recognize, do you, have, do you have a solution? How do you not keep on doing that and not keep on losing your energy and battery, but recognize and rest and connect back to yourself and to connect to that uh, home, basically a sense of home. So, so, the, so the number one, so basically it's very important to recognize this. So my question to all of you is, first of all, uh, do you feel lonely? Uh, when you do, do you recognize, do, is, is it important for you to recognize? Do you know you have a solution? Do you know you can overcome that and redirect your attention to a deeper place, a home within? Can you do that? Can you do that frequently? So that is the question that I'm trying to raise here. Of course, if you look at the sense of loneliness, it's a just very much subjective experience. It's, it's the only way you are feeling this very moment it has nothing to do with not having home, it has nothing to do with, uh, nothing to do with in some sense with anything. It's just you are somehow not connected enough in yourself, with yourself, a home in yourself, the essence of your being, uh, that true source of healing, that inner refuge, whatever you wanted to mention, call it, you are not connected, disconnected, or not connected enough, therefore you are longing, you are seeking, you are searching, and you are losing your energy. And that pattern is so frequent, and so many hours people do in life, it's just terrible things to do. So, so basically the question is, are you interested to recognize? Do you feel confidence enough that you, you have a solution? You can change, you can find home within. Can you rest in? Can you connect to there? Can you nourish from that source? And instead of losing energy continuously by doing that, can you regain, can you charge yourself continuously by connecting to that home within? So this is a question. So, of course, you know, as I said, it's a very subjective experience, the way we feel, and sometimes people can feel so many hours, weeks, days, months, years, big part of our life, feeling that disconnected and looking for home while, ho while home is within you, it is so close to you, in a Dzogchen it says, um, in, in a way it says like, I've never been away from you, I'm always with you, I'm always in you, I am, I am the closest one to you, but if you, do, if you don't bring attention toward me, then you lose the connection to me. So that is some sense of, and the teaching always talks about it. So this is what I want everybody to reflect. How it's possible, we are not disconnected. We cannot be disconnected. We are always connected. The connection or the connectivity, it's always there in us. There is impossible to be disconnected because we are always connected. We are always connected to each other. We never lose that connection, but we lose the awareness of that connection. But we never lose the connection. The difference is between losing connection or losing the awareness of connection. So you are always connected. For example, right now, imagine all these billions of cells in your body, they are all connected to each other. The heart is communicating with your brain. The brain is communicating with the rest of your body. Your feelings are communicating with each other. Everything in your body is kind of working and connecting and exchanging the informations. But more when you are connected, when you are aware of that connection, the communication highway, the channels, the energy centers, the elements, 
all opens up, the path opens up, communications opens up, then informations are connected with each other, everywhere receiving the right information to do the right things. So it's, it's more like being aware of it or not, it's not about you are disconnected. We are always connected to the nature. There is not, basically, there is not a one moment you are alone. Do you agree with me? Are you, you are always with nature, you are always with somebody, you are always with your body, you are always with your breath, you are always with your feelings. You are, if you believe, the refuge is always there. The people you are, you love, you care, you are connected, it's always there. So then you are never alone. You are never alone. If you are aware of that, there is, there is no way to feel loneliness because you are not lonely, you don't have to feel lonely because you are always connected. But it's, it's a, clearly it's a question about are your senses are open enough, your eyes open enough, your heart is open enough, your feelings are open enough to look at around, to see, to connect with somebody sitting next to you, connect with somebody who's important in your life, connect with this, your spiritual guide, connect with your friends and families. They are always there. So it's, it's a question about, are you open and feel they all are with you and feel that connect, connection and not feel lonely? So that is, I think it's very, very important. So basically what I'm saying, you are never alone. There is no reason to feel loneliness if, if you are aware of your connection to all to, to the nature and to everyone, and to your own body, to your own speech, to your own mind, to your own inner refuge, to, to guardians and angels, protectors, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, masters, who everybody that you admire, who inspires you, who are you are a guide, hope, they are always present. It's just a question now about bringing attention to there and feeling the connection and not feeling lonely. So, so that is, I think, what I wanted to say. So I wanted to uh, do a short practice today, so I wanted to maybe talk a little bit about the practice. So, again, once again, so one uh, that we are always connected and even idea of loneliness, the feeling of loneliness, the only way the loneliness can survive and live and continue and drain us and, and feel us kind of depressed is when we do not acknowledge our loneliness, when we don't recognize our loneliness, when we don't feel enough our loneliness, when we are not open to our loneliness, when we not respect our loneliness, when we don't um, bring sense of, some sense of care and kindness to loneliness. And when, because the loneliness is, a, the, when you have it, it's a kind of pain. It's a, it's a kind of pain, um, a sense of disconnected, a lost, right? It's kind of disconnected, a sense of lost, sense of not belonging, sense of being alone, that's what we are feeling, right? So, so basically, that feeling, it's in a way, it's a pain that some people identify and live with it. So, the only way to overcome it, to recognize, acknowledge, go closer to it, accommodate, host, and care, and bring some kindness, and then you all, you all know what I always say is give a spacious, luminous, warm hug to this deep feeling of loneliness. So you're going closer, 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 acknowledging it. 
when you do that, I guarantee you that deep sense of disconnectedness or this deep sense of lack of energy or the deep sense of uh, feeling alone, uh, will, you, will, you will overcome that. It, so clearly you will, you will able to overcome that. So I think that's kind of very important to, uh, to reflect within. So it's question about yeah, uh, identity connected with the pain and acknowledging it, recognizing, caring, and also not only recognizing and caring because something has been uh, weak, damaged, lost. It's, it's not easy to feel coming back, feeling the connection, feeling sense of warmth, feeling sense of kindness, feeling sense of energy, feeling sense of a playfulness, feeling sense of able to manifest something. So it's not only some sense of feeling okay, but feeling enough vitality that uh, wanting to act, wanting to go out, wanting to meet people, wanting to feel brave enough to take a risk, um, uh, wanting to create something. And so it's uh, feel like uh, you have support enough out there. World, whole universe is supporting you. Whole friends are supporting you. The strangers are supporting you. You, to you, people who are around you are supporting you. This feeling of sense of very open, uh, joyful, playful confidence. Uh, that feeling needs to come out after you acknowledge the loneliness. Because the loneliness is kind of some sense of paralyzed experiences who are not feeling enough life and able to, uh, feeling lively enough and take actions and move out. So, but when you are able to acknowledge and heal it, clear it, then you, life comes back, the motivation comes back, the confidence comes back, energy comes back, there's some sense of playfulness comes back, some confidence, able, willing to take some risk is coming back, because the fear is what preventing to experience a life fully. And, uh, and depression and the sense of loneliness is clearly contributing to these things. So, so first, recognizing and acknowledging uh, the feeling of loneliness. Uh, recognizing and acknowledging that feeling kind of sense of homelessness uh, or not belonging, uh, not being, uh, that sense, I think, so important to recognize. So basically what I'm saying it's recognizing that and uh, uh, and acknowledging that and going closer to it rather than going away from it. That's very, very important part. Then, so in order to do that, obviously, um, first of all, you do what we call three precious pills. So, um, so anyway, let's do that. Let's do the practice. Okay, instead of me uh, continuously explaining it, let's. Uh, I will guide through the practice. And then uh, we can talk a little bit afterward, uh, the practice, see how all of you are feeling. And uh, if uh, all of you are able to see something more clear, recognize something more clear, and definitely have some solutions to overcome, some guidance. So that's the, uh, my goal to able to give some solution for you, not only talk about the problems. So sit comfortably. Just take out stale breath, breathe deep and whatever uh, discomfort, unsettling feelings, thoughts, emotions, energies that you are feeling, just breathe it out. Again, breathe out, breathe it out deep, breathe it out, end of the ex exhalation, rest 
in that base. Be aware of any discomfort in your body, breath, mind. Be aware, feel the connection to that. Breathe, deep, breathe in deep and breathe out that discomfort again. Every end of exhalation, come closer, come within. So continuously breathe deep and the most importantly, our Cyber Sangha, this very moment, we are all supporting each other. Here we have about 240 people live practicing or listening together. Just feel the connection that we are all connected to each other. You are not alone. We are always connected. And this moment, we are all Cyber Sangha, particularly actively participating, feel connection. Feel the sense of that you are receiving support. I am clearly here. My intentions are here to be with all of you. I am with all of you. I am supporting all of you. And I clearly feel all your support. We are all connected. Not alone. Our connection is supported by this webcast, Facebook Live, but it's always there, regardless of the Facebook or not, it's there. It's supporting it, and we are aware of its support, and we feel it, We're trying to feel that. With that sense of support, bring your full attention inward. Three door, or three precious pill, practice of three precious pill, Bring your first attention to your body. Usually when somebody is lonely, they are disconnected to their source, to their feelings, thoughts, to their body. Then they look out. They lose the connection to their body. They look for connection outside to someone, someone or something. But this is like the antidote. You bring the attention inward. You feel connection to your body. Feel it. From the sole of the feet till to the crown. Feel the connection. Particularly feel the connection to the stillness in your body, this sense of being very still, feel that stillness, be aware of that stillness in your body, feel the connection to your body. Second door, door of the speech. Be aware of the silence. Feel the silence. Hear 
silence. Listen to the silence. Rest in this silence. Be aware of this collective silence, connection of collective silence. And through this, there's a deep sense of peacefulness. Third, a door of the mind or door of the heart. Feel that openness, spaciousness in your heart. The nature of heart, the nature of our mind, it's always open and luminous. One of the very important Buddhist scripture says, Semji Rangji Vesawa, the nature of mind is always luminous. One of the great text in a Shang Jun Yenji, Burns of Chen text, it says, We saw Semji Melong, the mirror of luminous mind. Our mind is always open and luminous. Heart is always open and luminous. Just feel that. Be aware of that. A sense of home within can be only experienced through these three doors. When you are connected to the body, through the stillness in the body, through this you will find home within. That's why it's called door. Door to your home. Through the silence of speech, by feeling it, hearing it, connected to it, resting in it, you find home within. The inner stillness is your home. And when you're being aware of it, when you're resting in it, you are at home. And people feel the sense of home. They don't look for connection. They don't look out for connection. They look out for someone. They don't get lost in nothing because they are at home and connected to their inner home. This sense of home through the door of open openness or the spaciousness of the heart, that is the door toward finding home within. If you enter through your heart, being aware of that spacious openness, that luminous in your heart, and you enter through that, you come to a place where you feel home within. Home is where you feel 
free. Home is where you feel comfortable. Home is where you feel safe. Home is where you feel you don't have to please anybody. You can be yourself. And the ability to be yourself can only come when you feel connection to home within, to the inner source. So when we lose the connection to that, and we seek the connection to that, then we look outside, and we sometimes spend so much of our time trying to uh, please uh, a collective social pain's expectations or unfulfilled somebody's expectation in their life, trying to fulfill, like trying to fulfill the parents' uh, expectations or, or anybody's expectations. Without realizing the importance of it. And suffering. So, so just go deep, first deep enough in that stillness, silence, spaciousness, through that find a sense of home within. And always feel that we are all here together and we are all supporting each other. And gradually reflect in your life how long you have been feeling Lonely, loneliness, feeling disconnection to yourself, feeling not sense of home, not sense of warmth, not sense of that fire, not sense of that inspiration, joy, energy, liveliness, creativity, engaging in life. Enjoying, appreciating, sharing your life with others. How you have been feeling, how long you have been feeling lack of these energies. We are all reflecting on this right now. We are all helping each other to reflect on this. We are giving ourselves this sense of luxury, this time, it's a, this time is a gift for ourselves, to each other, to reflect honestly. Because that feeling of loneliness, what it really needs is to be recognized, acknowledged and cared. And we are helping each other to do that this moment. Now, go closer to that feeling of loneliness. See just go closer. Like you would go closer to somebody who is lonely, somebody who is in need, somebody who is in pain, somebody you care deeply, respect deeply, you would go closer, right? So go closer to this a feeling of loneliness, a lost or disconnected, or lack of energy, lack of motivated, lack of fire. I'm sure all these words 
are making senses to different people. Sometimes some might, somebody might feel all of them, sometimes someone might clearly feel one of them stronger than the other ones. But it's, it's going closer, knowing better, connecting deeper with this pain of loneliness. The only way to heal is to go closer, not away from it. So go closer. Be open, be present, feel a sense of warmth toward that loneliness. Like uh, giving a spacious, luminous, warm hug to that pain of loneliness that you're experiencing, that you have, and we are all helping to do. In the Dzogchen teachings, there is a word, as we say, Cherta Cherto, nakedly seeing and nakedly liberating. So liberation, the freedom, the healing of that pain of loneliness can happen if you observe it nakedly. That means, it's kind of, I know, a little complicated uh, kind of metaphor, but what it means, it means being fully present and open. Like you will be completely open with the dear friend who is in pain. That's like that. So it's not someone, it's, it's yourself. When you go close, when you be present with this pain of loneliness that you have been experiencing for very long time and has been very long time suppressed, denied, avoided, unacknowledged, now you are, we are helping each other fully to come closer to it and we are being fully present with it this very moment. This is a very sacred moment for our Cyber Sangha meditation that we are being as closest as possible that one can be to oneself and when we are being with that presence, with that pain of loneliness. And whatever experiences, sadness, joy, tears, emotions, coming, let it come. Sometimes feeling of sadness can arise or joy can arise, a feeling of being touched, feeling of being acknowledged, feeling of being appreciated, feeling of being seen, finally, and when you feel that, you feel being very touched, we're feeling very joy. The emotions can arise, the tears can come, allow it whatever is coming, but not manipulate anything. As 
as you're practicing, gradually you witness that sense of pain or loneliness is dissolving or not so strong presence or feeling much more space clearing allow it the wind of wis wisdom wind clears the clouds of loneliness and begin to see a clear luminous inner sky that a clear luminous inner sky is your home that unbounded sacred space is your home the sense of being in your body in that stillness in that silence in that warmth being in that experience it's your home finding home within As long as you are connected in that sacred space through your body, through your breath, through your mind, you are remaining at home. You are not losing any energy. You are like a charging the energy because the source is the source of power and you are right now connected to the source and you are charging and nourishing yourself when you're at home you're charging Okay, you can, uh, those your, close your eye, you can open now. So how was the meditation? How was the meditation? How many of you are feeling lonely? How many of you have clearly able to recognize, clearly able to recognize that you have been feeling sense of lonely or you do feel sense of lonely quite frequently but not recognize it totally ignore it right i'm feeling lonely i ignore it i'm looking out i'm looking trying to find something trying to distract myself so how many of you recognize you ignore it how many of you recognize you avoid it how many of you recognize that how many of you recognize how long you have been doing shockingly? How frequently you do that, surprisingly? Or how many of you actually recognize that you're trying to overcome that, but not enough or not frequent enough? You're not frequently aware enough, or you're not frequently reflect enough. Or how many of you enjoy the success of the practice, the power of recognizing it when you do it, 
and able to shift the attention and change instead of looking, feeling homeless, feeling home within. How many of you can believe that really recognizing and through the meditation where as I guided, able to go inside and really find that sense of home and when you find that sense of home, it will be a true sense of antidote to overcome the loneliness and maybe even, even help the depression. Because sometimes I know like people feel depression could be very much physical and uh, and very much chemical in the body and so on. But of course, even in the physical, even in the, the, the chemicals in the body, but still mind is creating a lot of these things. And mind is create a solution for these also. So basically, uh, disconnected versus connected. We know very clearly today's modern world, every time when we go somewhere in the cafe and some hotels and airports and anywhere, we, f we first thing we ask is uh, the password for the Wi-Fi. We want to be connected to the internet. Because not being connected to the internet, we feel disconnected. We feel some sense of lost, powerless, a strange feeling. strange feeling of disconnected, not having been connected to the internet. But when you are connected to the internet, then you disconnect through the internet. Because you have opportunity to get totally lost. So how many of you feel like this, yeah, this practice could really like affect you. So I hope this was clear enough to uh, make you recognize something and 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 also understand there is kind of solutions it's really like a acknowledgement of the pain and uh, the main key is go closer not far away uh, accommodate not disconnect and not uh, how you say uh, not manipulate leave it as it is let me just say a few words before i finish today is in the Dzogchen tradition, there are many simple concepts. I will just say a few things. There are concepts called like Rangshar Rangdo, self arising and self liberating. What does that mean? That means if you are aware of these feelings, such as loneliness, you, you, by your awareness, it, can, it will arise, it will stay, and it will not stay there. It will liberate by himself or it will not stay too long it will liberate by itself because you are able to leave it as it is rather than your pain is uh, inviting it your pain is inviting the pain of loneliness your pain is supporting the pain of loneliness your pain is asking pain loneliness to stay longer and keep on staying there no there is no pain but you are awareness of openness is accommodating it. Or there is, as I said earlier, there is this concept of seeing nakedly and liberate nakedly. Cherta, chertro. Observing it nakedly, liberating it, not manipulating it. And finally, the sense of home is that when one overcomes this pain of homeless, pain of loneliness, able to go closer and acknowledge and clear it, then you have much more greater chance to find a sense of home within. Once you find a sense of home within, you want to exercise them. And what I mean by exercise them is, you know, any feeling, if you feel love, for example, you don't want to just feel, oh, I, I, I do feel love, you know, it's not like that, but I do feel love enough. I feel the fire of love, I feel the warmth of love, I feel the creativity of love, I, I feel the words of the love, I have rich, 
rich vocabulary of the life. I feel the poems of the love. I feel the music of the love. I feel the movement of the love. I, I wanted to write. I wanted to send texts. I wanted to talk. I wanted to sing. I wanted to share. I wanted to create. I wanted to exchange. So exercising these expressions of love, exercising the express expressions of that sense of home, home and the warmth of that home, are sharing able to share with others instead of instead of affecting each other from the pain of loneliness and homelessness always each other. So so that's all. I think uh, I hope that uh, uh, was helpful, and uh, I hope that I think Mariela is uh, seems like a hosting the uh, today's uh, Facebook live. And so maybe Mariela will let uh, send the link or information about next uh, Facebook Live, um, and then uh, I hope that uh, all of you, I wanted to thank you so much that I know like many of you share immediately when I post something, share immediately, especially information about the Facebook Live with others, and I know. When you share, it, there is a sense of trust there. There is a sense of uh, a true sense of acknowledgement, the value that you you put into what I'm doing, and I truly appreciate that. And uh, and uh, liking the page and uh, uh, commenting on it and inspiring each other, supporting each other, sharing with other people, with your friends and families. I truly, truly appreciate that. And uh, so we'll see you next time. Thank you, thank you, thank you.